In a challenging game like a SnowRunner, any tips and tricks could be helpful. So I have 15 tips and tricks that could help you in a SnowRunner. Let's get to it. Number 15. Don't recover your trucks after you did a contract. At the beginning of the game, you might have to recover your trucks because simply you don't have enough trucks to let them be around the map. But after playing in two or three regions, you probably have enough trucks. Like take a look at this. I finished that contract and now there is another contract that requires me to pick up something from the airport. But I have already a truck at the airport because the last time I delivered something over there, I didn't recover it. So now I just need to get into that truck, pick up the cargo and deliver it. So whenever you finish the contract, don't recover your trucks because maybe one two or three contracts in the future you might have to pick up something from there or somewhere close to that area so if you don't recover your truck you already have a truck around that area or if you mess up like what i did here you don't need to bring a truck from your garage to help your truck if you have many trucks around the map take it to the truck that you flipped over and put it back on its wheels it's a good way to save some time in this game. Number 14. A stick to the side of the road. A snow runner roads are not the nicest. You're gonna face a lot of mud and water pits, a lot of areas that requires you to go through deep mud or deep snow. But since a snow runner lets you to be creative, you can always make your own way in this game. So if you see a mud pit on the road, don't just go through it. If you can, stick to the side of the road and go around it. And this trick would help you a lot at the beginning of the game, when you don't have good capable trucks. Like look at this one, I'm driving Ford CLT around this muddy area instead of going through it. Because if I go through this mud, surely I would get stuck. Number 13. If there are no winch points in front of your truck, winch the rear of your truck or your trailer to the winch point that is beside your truck. It's gonna help you a lot in areas that doesn't have many winch points. So you would use the maximum potential of one winch point to get out of that muddy area. Alright, the next one. Use trees as an anchor point for your truck. And what I mean by that is, if your truck is too light or too weak to put a truck back on its wheels, use the tree to hold your truck steady. The tree would be like an anchor point for your truck. And even for the times when you pull the handbrake and it doesn't stop your truck from being moved towards your tipped over truck, you can use a tree to prevent that. So in this case, it doesn't really matter how light or weak your truck is, it can always help you with putting back your truck on its wheels. Number 11. You can use your winch for a better turning radius. If your truck doesn't have the best turning radius, you can always use your winch to have a tighter turning radius. You can simply just winch the front of your truck or the side of the truck to a winch point in your turning direction. And after you turn, just release the winch and carry on. Now, let's get to the next one. Number 10. You can create road trains in this game. Well, kind of. To create a road train, you have to buy a trailer, attach it to your truck, and then bring another truck, attach another trailer to that truck, and then winch the second truck to your first truck. And now you can carry a ton of cargo at the same time. And it's a really good way to deliver logs in the game. You basically can complete so many of the tasks in one trip. But let me tell you that, it would be a slow trip, so keep that in mind. And road trains are not the best idea in all the maps. In some of the maps or regions, you can do road trains and it's gonna be helpful, you're gonna save so much time. But in another maps, it's not gonna be that good. In maps with a lot of tight corners and hills that you need to go up and down it, you don't really wanna do road trains. Number nine. All-wheel drive would improve your turning radius. Especially for long trucks that has switchable all-wheel drive, 
you can use it to improve your turning radius so whenever you wanted to go around the corner just simply turn the all-wheel drive on go around the corner and after that turn it off to save some fuel that tighter turning radius would help a lot with long trucks like the Western Star 6900 or the Paystar 5600 TS so now every time you wanna go around the corner keep in mind to turn your all-wheel drive on for better turning radius number eight you can repair your trucks with repair stations so normally when you take a broken truck to a repair station a truck that you're not driving it's not gonna get repaired you have to repair it with your repair supplies because of that you might think that you always have to buy a service trailer or you have to bring enough repair points to repair a truck but if there is a repair station near that broken truck you can take a truck that has any amount of repair points and tow that truck to the service station then after that you just need to keep repairing the broken truck going into the service station and then restocking your repair supplies you can continue doing that until your truck is fully fixed number seven if you can't attach a trailer to your truck and you need the cargo that is packed on the trailer you can just tip that trailer over and take the cargo now this trick is really good and helpful when you have a truck that doesn't support crane bed and trailer combo so if you need the cargo on the trailer that is packed on it just tip over the trailer take the cargo and you're good to go and maybe you find yourself somewhere that you need the trailer but you don't need the cargo that is on it but unfortunately you don't have a crane to pick up the cargo that is packed on the trailer and you don't want to just remove the cargo because in the future you might need the cargo so in that case you can again tip over the trailer after the cargo fall off the trailer you can put the trailer back on its wheels and that's it carry on on your trip okay now the next one number six you can put multiple cargo on one truck this is an amazing trick to save a ton of time in this game so instead of completing a contract in three or four trips you can complete it in one trip and it's really fun to do i really love overloading in this game it's like a good challenge to try keep everything on your truck and to see can you do the whole contract in one trip but overall i'd rather to put multiple cargo on my truck other than buying a trailer because every time you buy a trailer you have to drive the thing back to a trailer store to sell it otherwise you won't make that much of a profit but with overloading you don't need to do that you do the contract and when you're done that's it you don't need to go back to sell anything and once you get the hang of using the crane you would do everything so much faster and i have made a video on that topic how to overload in a snow runner if you haven't watched it and you'd like to overload go and watch that video and another thing i'm gonna add the 10 by 10 as of is the best truck for overloading number five if you're stuck and there are no winch points around you or winching is just simply not helping you you can use your crane as the last hope this trick actually saved me once so if you want to use it put the top of your crane on the ground and start pushing your truck with the crane in this case i could lift one side of my truck so i could drive over that tree but it's the same if you're stuck in mud or you're stuck on a big boulder that doesn't let you go forward use your crane to push your truck a bit to get unstuck this trick could really help you one day so keep it in mind now number four put the fuel back in your truck after you unlocked a new one it's a really simple tip put the fuel back in your truck before you recover the new one that you just unlocked so you could continue driving scouting the map or completing new contracts without being worried about running out of fuel and even if you have two trucks close to each other and you want to recover one of them always put the fuel in the truck that you don't want to recover number three use high range gearbox there are many situations that a high range gearbox 
is way better than an off-road gearbox. The speed that a high range gearbox gives you could be so useful in some regions. It actually shines when you're driving over dirt or mud and you put it in high gear. If you're not facing any mud pits or water pits, you can just continue driving super fast over dirt or mud. And you know when you're in automatic and you slow down just a bit, your truck is back to the first gear. Or when you let go of the gas for one second, you're back to the first gear again. You're not gonna face any of those issues when you're in high gear. So using a high range gearbox and putting it in high gear gives you the same speed as you're using an off-road gearbox and you're in automatic or even faster but without the problem to go back in the first gear every time you slow down a bit. So if you need to deliver some cargo really fast you can always use a high range gearbox instead of an off-road gearbox but i would say using a high range gearbox really depends on the map you're playing in in some maps high range gearbox is really good the extra speed really gonna help you save some time and fuel but in some maps the off-road gearbox has more advantages number two leaving your cargo unpacked on your truck somehow makes it to feel lighter so it's really a strange because it's the same cargo but when you unpack it it suddenly appears to have less weight but the good thing about it is it has less impact on your speed and it gives you just a bit more ground clearance and when you're going over mud or snow it feels like when you unpack the cargo it improves the performance of your truck so whenever you're going up a very steep hill or you're about to go through some mud or snow you can unpack your cargo to improve the performance of your truck just a little bit and i'm not sure about this one but it really feels like when you unpack the cargo even though it's still on your truck it does make your truck a bit less tippy and improve the mobility of your truck just a little bit so when i go around the corner having the cargo unpacked on the truck i feel like the truck is a bit more stable compared to the time when the cargo is packed it did feel like that to me but i could be wrong though i could be wrong but overall unpacking a cargo that is on your truck would improve the performance of your truck okay time for the last tip you can reset all the roads in one map with simply just going to another map or region and coming back now why is it good in a snow runner every time that you drive over a muddy road or a snowy road you kind of ruin it a bit so each time you drive over that road you're gonna have to spend more time crawling in mud or snow so basically by resetting the map you would drive over nice and fresh mud so you don't have to spend so much time driving in mud or even getting stuck in there and going to another map is not gonna take any longer than one minute just simply fast travel in a garage in another map and then come back that's it everything's nice and fresh now it's good for the times that you have to cross one piece of road multiple times let me show you an example so here in wisconsin you have to cross this area a lot and each time you have to spend more time crossing this area because you're ruining the mud but with just going to another map and coming back boom everything's nice and fresh just take a look at the difference between driving over ruined mud and fresh mud
as you saw driving over fresh mud would help you cross that area a bit faster than driving over ruined mud and in long run those a few seconds would save you some time and you see the effect of resetting the roads when you're not driving a really capable truck i hope you find these tips and tricks helpful and i see you in the next one